I just sensed the piston. Oh, he just hit me again. Oh, why is he still attacking me? Yes, go in there, go in there. Okay, just block this up. Okay, okay, we, we've trapped the warden into the wool box. That was a lot more of a pain than I thought. Now for the moment of truth. We're gonna find out if this machine can one-shot the warden. Okay, and I think we are officially ready. So to do this, I have to time it perfectly. I have to press this button and then fly down to those pieces of wool and break them all before the warden runs out and escapes. And without further ado... Okay, let's press this button, fly down here, and break all of this. Come on, come on, come on. Please, and... Oh, my gosh. What? It worked. We are definitely the first person to ever one-shot a warden in hardcore. Oh, my. Just look at all of these arrows. That just looks crazy. These last four weapons have been insane, but they are nowhere near as insane as our weapons are about to get. And you're just gonna have to wait and see what our next weapon is, because it's just so cool. So, right now, I'm going to the nether, because that's where we need to be to make the first version of this. And the build for this first version is extremely simple. And I mean extremely. Like, we literally just have to build an obsidian box like this and now it's time for the fun part we have to get a ghast inside of this obsidian box yeah it's definitely easier said than done wait yes he's in the mine cart okay we just have to push him like this so this is actually all we need for the first version of this weapon and the reason i made this is just to make sure it works we will soon upgrade it to insane levels but to test this thing we just gotta put a hole in the roof jump in and start punching as you can see the ghast is targeting me and shooting fireballs at me but because i'm rapidly punching every time he shoots a fireball i just punch it in whatever direction i'm looking at one problem though this is really slow but don't worry it'll be way better once we get 100 gas into that box but in order to get 100 gas into the box we will need to build a gas farm on the nether roof so right now i'm mining a bunch of obsidian because we're going to need to build a ton of portals in the gas farm all right 20 stacks of obsidian should be good now we need to get some building blocks and that's actually pretty much it. Surprisingly, building a gas farm is actually pretty easy. But first, we're going to need to find a soul sand valley biome. And that's because the soul sand valley biome spawns three times the amount of gas that the normal nether does. And here we go. Anyways, now that we made it here, we just gotta go up, place some ladders, and... <sighs> Oh, oh, first try. Get onto the nether roof. Then we gotta make a bunch and a bunch and a bunch and even more bunches of nether portals. Yeah, we need a lot of nether portals. Wow, I've never seen that many nether portals in my life. Back to work. So now we gotta connect them all with a bunch of blocks. And then we'll add bits of glass on the sides of each section. And that's actually all we need for the nether portion of this farm. Now we just need to build the obsidian box in the overworld. Okay, so the nether coordinates should be somewhere over here. And ooh, look, there's a jungle temple and a village here. That means we're gonna be able to blow up both of these with our controllable turrets. Anyways, for the build, we just have to make the same obsidian box that I made in the first version of this weapon. And then we have to go in here and light this portal just like that. And gas should start to come through any second. Uh, why are gas not coming through? Oh my gosh, look at all of the gas. What? This is insane. There's just a bunch of white legs under here. Wait, what happens if we stand next to it? Oh my, look at all of those fireballs. I mean, I knew it would spawn in a lot of gas, but I had no idea it would spawn in this much. Oh, uh, well, okay. I guess we can actually just go in here and... Uh, oh, that does not work. Okay, maybe we'll try and fly in. Let's go like this and let's see if this is gonna work. Let's just spam punch and see what happens. Look at how many fireballs I launch out. Whoa! Look at this. I am so sorry, villagers, but your entire home is about to be destroyed. This isn't the first village I've destroyed, but this is definitely the coolest way I've ever destroyed a village. And oh, uh, I just popped the totem. This is just completely...